and a fine day to you again, dear viewer. Welcome back to Yakuza 0. We left off in this kooky side quest. Yet another one, where we are trying to teach Crazy Kyo and his band of um, rough, yankee hooligans to actually be hooligans, because they're all a bunch of harmless kittens, apparently, and they're just putting on a show. <laughs> so, let's proceed with this latest goofball of a plot. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu-san. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hey there, I'm Tarashi, and my stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boob. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku. Uh, I'm Aku. Hobbies caring for elders. And this is Kiryu-san, who's gonna impart the ways of true Yankee-style hooliganism onto us. Please teach us, Kiryu-san. Hmm. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no! Please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to do this, so somehow, we have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. <laughs> oh! Yes, please! Hmm, how can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? Hmm, well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me. Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, Kiryu-san, I need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. Oh, okay, this is where we get this dumb <laughs> prompt again. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Uh, start your engines. Hello, but in English. Um, I actually like hello, but in English. Let's go with that. That's like, you know, you gotta, you know, this isn't just about being tough, this, uh, this uh, rockabilly thing going on. You also need to, you know, rockabilly is all about being real American. So I think opening in English sounds good. How about opening with hello, but in English? In English? Do you really think so? I mean, a hooligan speaking English. Is that in Yankee style? What, what do you mean is that? Isn't that... I really must... I must have totally misunderstood what Yankee is as a cultural phenomenon in Japan, because now I'm really confused. Yeah. I think it would be just right for a Yankee. Young rebels fall hard for what's cool. And English is the language of rock and roll. There we go, thank you, Kiryu. He's got my back. Think about it. Their hero, the vocalist of the Yokomichi Silvers, speaks a language they don't know. They can't help but be impressed by his worldliness. But I do have to keep speaking English afterwards. That's gonna be a challenge. I only know a few greetings. Uh. How do you do? I am Crazy Kyo. Yoroshi go The same goes for them, though. If you sound like you know what you're saying, you can get away with it. I see. I'm not quite convinced, but I'll give it my best. Rock and roll! Oh! Oh! Kiryu-san! Question! Aw, oh, look at that! Baseball cap he's got. It says rock on it, and it's got a cute little kitty. That's really cool. Hmm? Hmm? What is it? Well, the agency told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off, when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes sense that fans would want to know how their heroes live from day to day. Tarashi, how would you spend a day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy Chibi-chan to the park for our mid-morning stroll. And then, we have lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on the dramas I've got on my VCR until it's bedtime. Ooh, VCR, high-tech. Impressive. Uh? You just described a typical girl's day. Huh? Uh, sorry. That really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was so surprised I got intense. Yeah, come on, Kiryu. It's not a... That's a really nice day, honestly. I... I'm... So scared. 
Oh no, Kiryu-san, you shouldn't shout like that. You made sleazy Tarashi cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Should say sorry. Uh, uh yeah, uh, my bad, Tarashi. It's... <laughs> It's all right. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it is all. <laughs> so, about how I should spend the day off. Uh, yeah, right. One thing's clear. You can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then, what should I say? What would I be doing instead? Fighting all day. <laughs> Sleazy Tarashi is fighting around the world. Nah. Rescuing puppies is also really cute, but I think a bit too nice guy for this. Hanging with mates sounds all nice and casual. I like the sound of that. Let's go with that. I don't want to make these guys too rough, you know? Fighting fighting all day sounds a bit spooky. He might get into an actual fight, and then we're going to have to step in and save him. In fact, it seems like all these side quests do seem to end with us having to punch somebody, so I wouldn't be surprised if we have to beat up some hooligans at the end of this little adventure as well. Anyway. On your days off, say you spend it having fun with friends. Having fun with my friends? That's kind of ordinary, isn't it? I mean, I already do that pretty regularly. Think about it. Punks are people too. On their days off, even they would want to spend it with their friends. Ever notice them squatting together in parking lots? That's true. I see them loitering around like you say. But are they really friends? Hmm. Oh, I used the wrong word. They're not friends. It should be mates. Mates! Actually, when you put it that way, the Yankee factor goes way up. There, see? On your days off, you hang out with your mates. Actually, you and your mates just shoot the shit with each other. Say that and you'll be fine. You know, I just realized what's really funny is, I think we're just sitting in the park, like, right near where those guys are. <laughs> Unless that's a different bowling place, like, that's the bowling place we were in previously. But no, that was a, that was a, that was a small alley where we went to go to that uh, bowling alley. Hmm. Anyway, I think we're in Theater Square, just sitting, like, a stone's throw away from <laughs> those hooligans who are waiting for this band. Like, I'm surprised no one's noticed these people yet. <laughs> I kind of get it. I'm not sure what that actually means, but hanging out with mates totally sounds like what hooligans would do. Kiryu-san. Hmm? Oh, ah, you're a uh, bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What'll I say? Hmm. Aku, you didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Uh, nope. The agency told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever, yeah, even though he's practically mute. Bad Boy Aku even has a backstory. Locked up in juvenile reformatories from birth, Bad Boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he even finished preschool. Mm. Mm. Your agency's trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Aku's a man of few words with a crazy backstory. What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Uh, stay silent seems like the smart thing to do, honestly. Make him really intimidating. The time you crush the gang is really funny, though. A funny recent event. I don't know. Ah, these ones are all good, actually. Uh, this one's a bit heavy, so I don't know about that one. But these two are really hard to pick with. I think stay silent just make him really scary. Let's go with that. Let's make one of them scary. Don't you think it'd be better to just stay quiet? Huh? Stay silent during the panel? Wouldn't a discussion without any talking be a disaster? No, no, it's fine. I've seen this, like, American comedy band. The ninja guy stays silent all the time, and it's gold. Mm, yeah. Nope. Aku was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. That's true, but... It would be worse if he were to say the wrong things and wreck his image. From Aku's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. Also, come on, he's a bassist. Bassists don't matter in bands. <laughs> when you put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. Bad boy Aku stays speechless during his part. Sure. 
Aku, are you good with that? Okay. All right, now we'll go over how you'll run this whole panel discussion. Yes, please. You know what's super fun is, I guess we're gonna see like them do their thing. And like, this is actually like replay value for this game. If you pick different prompts for how they like act, I, I you might get like different cutscenes coming up. I don't know, obviously, but this feels like one of those things. So that, that's really fun, actually. That's a little fun detail is affecting these guys, how they perform in this next scene. Yakamichi Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Hey, wasn't that guy one of the producers for the TV show we were on? I swear the backwards baseball cap was on him as well. Oh, is it time? Uh, I mean, fine! Ugh. Yikes! So sorry. I, I mean, you can come on whenever, you, whenever you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. Aw, oh, Kiryu, you're such a nice guy. You're giving time for these dudes. Yes, please watch us. We're gonna hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> We're gonna kick ass and stuff. Hmm. Oh, this should really be fun. Whoa! That guy's a ghost. He just faded in. Here they are. Put your hands together for the Yokomichi Silvers. Well, they certainly look cool. Ooh! Crazy Kyosan! Bad boy Aku! Over here! Wow! Check out Crazy Kyosan's original ESP guitar! Smoking red style! The man's got the Yankee look nailed! Wow, they are popular. When they're not talking, they do look like real greasers. Sop and wet high rock and roll after school! Tarashi! Aku! Hit it, boys! Aw, oh, we didn't get to hear their... Damn, we did not get to hear their freaking set. I really like rockabilly. I would have liked to hear their weird music. Aw, oh, this is too bad. Oh well. I guess the budget for the game could not allow it. That concludes today's performance by the Yokomichi Silvers. Just listening to their songs, I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up to Crazy Kyo's band. Now, we would like to move on to a special meet and greet panel discussion with the band members. Oh, no way, no way! Crazy Kyo-san's actually gonna talk to us? That's totally mental! I can't fucking wait to hear Bad Boy Aku's voice! Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Listen to this funky beat. Yeah. Uh? Yo, Grease Hounds! Hello, everyone! Rock and roll! We are Yokomichi Silvers! Holy shit! Crazy Kyosan can even speak English? So bitchin'! I'm gonna go totally mental! My god, that totally authentic pronunciation! It uh, drives me wild! I'm shitting bricks here! I'm fine, thank you! And you? Yeah! Yes, the audience loves it. Using English was a good choice. Awesome! Thank you, Crazy Kyo-san. Now I feel like I should have chosen bad choices on purpose, like I did in the freaking TV production thing, just to get funny reactions. I don't know, I, I have a soft spot for these goobers and their rockabilly band, so I feel like I should, I think I did the right choice helping these guys out. Next, we would like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi-san and Bad Boy Aku-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi-san, here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Nah! If I get a day off, I mostly hang out with my mates. We shoot the shit! A guy like Tarashi-san must have a ton of mates. Tarashi-san, what do you do with your mates? Uh, huh? Uh, um, um, we, uh, um, make p pancakes and stuff. Ah! Uh, huh? Oh, but, but we don't just stay holed up at home. We go out and uh, 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 eat lunch at fancy cafes and stuff. Yeah. Who is this guy? Oh, I made the wrong choice. Oh, no. He can't keep up the charade. The 
fans are rattled. Damn, I screwed up. I should have covered more details with Tarashi. Thank you, sleazy Tarashi-san. To close it out, it's time for bad boy Yaku-san to say a few words. Hmm. Th that was it? No way! He just stood there for his whole panel discussion? That's... That's... <laughs> Holy crap! Bad boy Akusan's the coolest! What a rebel! He doesn't play by the rules, not even his own rules! That's what makes him bad boy Akusan! He rules! Good. It was the right decision to not let the quiet Aku speak. After all, it doesn't take big talk to make a big man. An attitude speaks louder than words. Oh, I blew it with one move with, um, with, um, Tarashi there. I really thought that was a good choice, having him talk about his mates, but okay. Guess I should have gone, like, really up to 11 with the fighting or something. I don't know. Kiryu san, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Kiryu san, we tried to apply what we learned from you about the weight of the Yankee to our panel. <laughs> the fan response was pretty darn good. I'm kind of shocked. Uh. Yeah, it seemed that way. It was worth all the effort. I think we can keep the Yokomichi Silvers going without sagging in popularity. Phew! Thank you very much. A charismatic autobiography! Oh, thank you! I will cherish this, yeah, cherish this book. That was the most fun I ever had speaking in public. Giryu-san. Thanks. From now on, we're gonna keep working hard to expand on what you taught us about the way of the Yankee. We'll work on our speaking skills, too. Keep an eye on us, Kiryu-san! The Yokomichi Silvers are going places, just you watch. Uh. Yeah, give it your best shot. We will! Ah, uh, what a nice gang of guys. This is how I feel like most, like, tough guy bands are, really. They're pro I, I, I don't know. I want to believe that they're actually really <laughs> soft guys in reality. I don't know. I've never been to an actual punk concert, so <laughs> I, I don't actually have any experience. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world, somehow. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers. <laughs> Oh, what a feel-good story. I like that. And there was no fighting at the end. Okay. The game subverts my expectations once more. That's fine. That's good. Okay, guys. Let's get back to real business now. And by real business... I mean that claw game at Sega Arcade. Come on, guys. Excuse me. You got something to say to me, sir? Oh, there we go. That's a nice opening for me to bring the pain. You saw there, he like, his combo ended really sharp. Ooh. Oh my god, did you see that? That was amazing. Bang! Okay. Okay, that worked a little better. I really just need- to, I need to be patient with my block, actually. Just really just wait for an opening. I thought- I thought I'd give Beast Mode a little practice after uh, my poor attempts last time. That went a little better. I'll keep practicing it. Especially because I just leveled it up, you know. Anyway, this claw game, let's get to work. Oh yeah, I want a cowboy squirrel, that sounds good. So, but yeah, the real thing, of course, we've got a lead on Tachibana Real Estate. So we are going to make an effort to go to the house in Shichifuku Street, where they're still messing around. Trying to take over that land. Oh, 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 now! I wanted that cowboy squirrel. No. Let's give it another go. Got three more coins. Uh, 
I think it's... If I can get it in the hook between the tail and the body, I think I'll have it. No, 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 not the... Uh, not the wild Jesse James girl cowboy squirrel. Oh, I missed the whole thing. That thing's, that thing's blocking me, that... that Cowboy girl squirrel there. Oh. Cowgirl squirrel, I suppose. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Grab both of them. Ha 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 ha. Look at this. I have both of them. Uh, uh, uh. No! <laughs> what else could we do? Not Space Harrier right now. I'm, 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 I'm busy. I need to get to Tachibana Real Estate. Or, well, I need to get to the house that they've captured. As soon as I catch this uh, Scrooge McAxolotl right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Apart from that, yeah, we gained Beast Style. You saw that. I should go and find a taxi so I can try and... Oh, no. We got caught in the tube there, the claw. Actually, I should not go for that one, I don't think. Let's go for the one all the way over to the far there. Here we go! Is the guy in the middle more valuable? There's just one of him, the blue axolotl. Oh! Oh! No! No! This is like mental torture, these uh, <laughs> claw games, because you're like, Oh, now I got it, now I got it, now I got it! No! Okay, but this time, this one's for all the beans. I'm gonna get this. This Scrooge McAxolotl right now. What in tarnation are you doing? I'm an axolotl. <gasps> Is it happening? Oh, now don't stop swaying so much. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Congratulations! It's Woo Papa! Oh, is it a Wooper? Is this a. Is this a crossover with Pokemon? Is this thing supposed to be a Wooper? The father of a family of mysterious creatures. I'm Wu Papa. You will not besperge the Wu family name. Oh, so where's that autobiography that I got? Oh, it must be in valuables, no? No, that's like plot items. Um, well, what happened to the autobiography? Is that... This book had a very limited print run, and those who see it are likely to attack you and try to take it from you by force. Really? So it's an item you can equip to... Well, it increases your stats, apparently. Also, I... This device emits a sound a telephone card is near. Also, it's an equipable item. I forgot to equip it. Okay, there we go. So this thing will actually, like... This will increase in counter amounts, if I understood correctly? Let's give it a little swing. If it becomes unbearable, the amount of encounters, I'll take it off. But we'll see for now. It also gives you, like, stats, if I saw correctly. So that's kind of fun. Also, Woo Papa's the real win. I, I wonder what you do with Woo Papa. Can I just... I can look at it. That's nice. But I can't use it. Hmm. That's too bad. Um, where can I find a taxi? I... I could go and learn with, um, cause the teacher, Miss Tatsu, hangs out at the pier, if you recall. Oh, the teacher of beast style, and, uh, I need a taxi to get to her, so, let's see, there was a note about taxis. Powerful foes. Taking on Kuze. Oh, that's advice from when I fought Kuze, these are like boss things, okay, that's fun. Blades are dangerous weapons. Cool. Oh, they're just tips for enemies. Okay, that's nice. Taxi. There was a thing about tax taxis. You can get in and out of taxis at certain places. Depending on the destination, taking a taxi may save you time. Mm-hmm. Where did I get to the map? I wanted to look at the map. There we go. I was like, why isn't the map? There's a taxi right there. Um. Okay, guys, let's go do that real quick. I'm so sorry for anyone who was hoping that today we progress to Tachibana, but I want to go do a job at uh, Miss Tatsu's. Oh, I should practice my beast style in the field with these men in black.
Oh, I should have locked that. Oh, lots of items over here. Oh, but I just... Oh, traffic cone. Ah, oh, man, I'm just... I'm just going way too early with this one. They're all still up, all right? There we go. Oh, really? Come on, give me a... Okay, you know what? Let's just... Because I'm like... I'm really like, okay, now I got a chance to use beat style, but then... Doesn't work out. Who's next? Come on. Oh, I'm about to die. Okay. No, I died! I can't believe it! No! I took too long. I was playing too... I was playing too risky there. Ah, fine. Well, I got my health refilled. See, I'm trying to, like, you know, I'm blocking here to give me a chance to... to open up, but then... They just never seem to give me an opening. Come on. See, because next guy's already in there when I'm trying to attack. Constantly I'm like, okay, now's my chance to go in, and it's not. Ah, man! See, look at that. I'm like, okay, now's my chance, and then the other guy just comes in. Ah, that's my second death. Man, this is, this is an embarrassment. For myself. Ah, oh, man. No, I'm not gonna switch to easy difficulty. I, I just really want to learn this beast style. Uh, I need to get that skill which was like you can block during a combo. Now? Okay, now's my turn. Look, I've just been standing here getting beat up. My god! I'm not getting even any heat either, because I'm just getting beat up here. Oh my god, look at this, I don't have any chance! Okay, someone online, please tell me what the uh, way to use beast style is. Oh, okay, well now I got a heat action in, so that evens things up. But man, this hard, this style is hard to use. And the dodge is like, not, obviously, it's a slow style, so the dodge is kind of not great. Ah, okay, here we go. There just is no opening for these guys. Ah, I can't, I just can't do it. They just never stop attacking. <laughs> 
And I just get more hurt if I try to break out. Is it just that the enemy type is bad against beast style? Like, you're not supposed to use beast style against the men in black. Now, let's see how this goes now. Ah, well. Got good moves, these men in black. Nice jump. How do you kick a guy on the ground? Damn it. Here we go! Let's see if I get a... Okay, I was hoping to do another suplex on the um, barrier there, but that was fine too. Wow, I'm sorry for taking all that time, guys. Um, I, I, I wanted to try and like practice B style more, but I just... I. Oh, new pocket circuit racers wanted. Want to have a race? Uh. Hi there, how about some pocket circuit racing? We're looking for more people to join in. Mm. Pocket circuit? What's that? You race motorized model cars around a track. Everyone's doing it these days, young and old. The cars are small enough to fit in your pocket, thus the name. Pocket-sized race cars. Hi. Yeah, it's all the rage right now. This is the Pocket Circuit Stadium, where races are held. Ah, the Blue Bird Cup. Give it a try sometime. I'm sure you'll be hooked. Mm. Pocket Circuit, huh? That could be fun. Maybe I'll stop by later. I might, but I actually do want to go to Miss Tatsu now. How's my health? Oh, it's okay, because I really didn't get that bad beat up by those thugs. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know what to say, guys, except that I guess I'm just bad at um, brawlers. Um, and I'm just bad at playing with a slow character. But, like, I, like, I can see what the goal is, is you hold down block to block attacks, and then you wait for an opening to attack. But with three guys and the AI just wailing on you, it just doesn't feel to me like there is an opening to attack ever. Like, they were so few and far between. I don't know. There must be something else you're supposed to do, but I don't know what it is. Like, um, someone do please write in and tell me how I can improve my B-style fighting. I do okay with Brawler, I do okay with Rush. B-style hasn't been great yet.